Welcome to Coach B Daily. I'm Coach B. Uh, earlier this afternoon, I got a uh, message from uh, Eating for Abs Nutrition Course alumni, Taj. Taj, you're doing fantastic, and thanks so much for the kick in the chair to get me to answer this question. So, his question basically was, um, could we talk about what I eat or what people should eat late at night if they're still hungry uh, but don't want to cause uh, you know, negative impact on all the hard work they've done in their diet and in their uh, workout, etc. during the week? Good question. So uh, I'm going to let you guys look over my shoulder for a second and let's talk about it. So we talked yesterday, if you watched uh, the episode yesterday, we talked about four different uh, things that we eat, categories of things that we eat. One is going to be fat, one is going to be carbs, one is going to be protein, and then undigestible material. Okay, for extra credit, you remember undigestible material was fiber. Pardon my handwriting, I should have been a doctor. Um, so protein, we're going to say is responsible for new growth. Okay, carbs, uh, in general, that's energy food. And when we say carbs, we're talking about, you know, um, fruits, veggies, breads, rice, pastas, all that kind of stuff. And fat, we're also going to generically label as energy food. Okay, so now it's time for you to go to bed. You've been up all day. And uh, you've worked out, you've been to work, you've walked around, you chased the kids, you did the laundry, uh, you, you know, watched the movie, you did whatever you did. And now uh, it's getting late, it's almost bedtime, but my last meal was three hours ago. If I go to bed like this, I'm not going to be able to sleep comfortably. What should I do? Okay, well, here's the question. When is your biggest energy demand for the day? Is it now at night? Probably not. It probably was closer to the middle of the day when you were most active. Okay, so what we don't need right now are energy foods. Okay, uh, we have no need for uh, increased energy or, um, you know, any sugars or fats at this point. We're going to basically go rest. Our metabolic rate is going to go down and we're going to go into recovery mode. So what we don't want to do is fill up our body with energy foods at this point in time. If we're going to eat late and we're going into a restful state, then what you're going to want to go for primarily is going to be maybe a little protein, preferably whole protein, something that was raised naturally, tofu, beans, legumes, um, naturally raised beef, naturally raised any other kind of uh, meat, um, even uh, generic, very simple protein shake. Uh, so you're getting your protein in and then also maybe some fiber. So, you know, feel free if you're, if it's late, you're thinking about not being able to sleep because you're uncomfortable, you're still very hungry, then go for, you know, some cruciferous veggies like broccoli or cauliflower, uh, leafy veggies like, uh, spinach, kale, Swiss chard, uh, something like that with a little bit of protein that should tide you over. Um, that's pretty much it. While we're here and talking, let's also talk about what happens if you don't do that. So, you know, your body has been programmed to keep you alive. So it adapts to all the crazy stuff we do. Uh, and the goal is to make us last to the next day. No matter what we do to it, it wants to keep us alive. Even if it means creating conditions that are bad for us temporarily, thinking that it will, you know, come out of that condition and it could replenish itself. Unfortunately, most of us go into these what are bad situations permanently. You know, we don't temporarily put our bodies in a compromised position. We permanently put our bodies in a compromised position because we don't give it what, what it needs. So uh, let's say you were to do the opposite of what I said. Instead of having protein and, 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 uh, and fibery, uh, fibery veggies or whatever, or leafy veggies before bed, instead you went for a cupcake, okay? Just processed sugar and carbs. Or you went for... Um, you know, another kind of energy food, pasta, something like that. Have you ever seen the, the show about uh, hoarders? 
where people keep on buying stuff and then they just put it all in their house and there's no room and they just keep on putting more stuff and more stuff in the house. That's the same thing that happens here. When you start overloading your body with more than it can handle at a given time, it starts hoarding. It starts putting that stuff into storage. So you make a habit of having energy food at a time when you don't require the energy demand, your body puts that into storage. And that basically is fat cells. Fat equals storage. Body fat equals storage. It's not what you want. It's not what you're looking for. So um, I hope I cleared that up. I hope I answered the question. I obviously will take your questions. Want you to ask questions. Give me more topics to talk about. Help me out. And uh, join me at eatingforabs.com for the ultimate nutrition course or for one-on-one -on -one coaching. As well, join this conversation at facebook.com slash eatingforabs. This is Coach B. Take care.